Hello and welcome to how to use multi traces. So you may be familiar with a line trace or any of the other trace nodes out there, uh, but there is also this multi trace as well. And the way these differ is they actually return multiple objects rather than just the first one they hit. However, it does matter how they get their information. So as you can see here, we've got out hit set to an array. That means it's a list of all the items it's hit. And importantly, the trace channel set to visibility. So let me have a look at these objects I've got in my scene here. The first cube, if I click on here, is set to ignore the visibility. The second one is set to overlap the visibility. And this third one here is set to block the visibility. So we'll hit simulate and take a look at what's going on here. So as you can see, the red line from the line trace is going through the first object, but it's not actually detecting it. That's because it's set to ignore and the trace is going right through it without any sign of it colliding. We'll then hit the second one. This is set to overlap. And as you can see, here we've got a little green square indicating that it has detected a hit. This has now added this to that multi trace output. And the third one carries on, as you see this red line carries on to the end here with this red square indicating this is the end of the line. It's been told to block it and will no longer return any more behind it. So as you can see, it's gone green, indicating the line is now dead. So if I was to get those results, I'd get two objects. I'd get this middle one and I'd get this last one. And we could do this with other shapes as well, not just line traces. There's also sphere traces, capsule traces and box traces. And as you can see, you can also do it by channel, by profile and by objects. So what occasions can you think of using multi line tracing? Well, for example, if you want to do bullets that go through objects, you can do that via a multi trace, do penetration that way. You can also use it to detect things through walls or through other characters and objects in the environment. And then we have the multi line trace. As you can see, the functions are basically the same as the normal line traces, they have the same options, same outputs, but this time the output is a list rather than a singular value. If you like this video and want to see more how to's, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where your donation gets you access to all my videos early before everyone else. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.